Alright everybody, well, this is my Tenet movie review, I do not know how mo how long of a review this movie is going to be, I mean this video is going to be, because I did not understand the movie very well. If you've been following me, subscribed to me for a while, you've seen both of my trailer reactions for this movie, I've been totally confused, both trailers, and I think Christopher Nolan wanted that for you to be confused. But he wanted you to be intrigued to go watch the movie. We went and watched the movie. And about halfway through, I just gave up. I said, you know what? I don't understand this movie. I'm not going to understand this movie. So let's just watch it. And not think. And just watch. So that's what I did. I was really trying to keep up. I was really trying to understand what was happening and the science behind it is just too much for me because I'm lost. I am. But having said that, it is a great movie. You can tell by the way it's made, by the way it's directed, the thought process that went into this movie. It's, it's a great, awesome movie I just can't understand it like Inception it's just it's it's like that for me this movie is really cool it opens strong as normal movies usually do this great action scene opens up the movie the action is crazy anytime it's an action scene you're like this I'm trying to watch the things that are going backwards things that are going forwards and the car chase scene is probably the highlight of the movie. Either the car chase scene or the opening scene. But there's also like a heist, like an like an airport airplane heist scene, which is great. And even how the movie the movie comes full circle, but I don't understand it so much. And if you've seen the trailers, you know it has a little bit to do with time. There's things going in reverse, there's things going forward. They try to explain time travel and they give the illustration, if you went back in time to kill your grandfather, do you erase yourself out of existence? Therefore, that never happens. Like, what? Like, I don't understand. The cast was good. I can't think of the guy's name, the main guy, it's like John Washington, John David Washington, or John Washington David, something like that. Great guy, uh, I haven't, I haven't seen him in anything else that I know of, uh, this is my first time watching him in something, and I thought he did a great job, he's a great actor, he's very funny, he's, he's often the only funny part of the movie, I'd say. Robert Pattinson, believe it or not, this is my first time watching him in a movie too. I never watched the Twilight movies. I haven't seen The Lighthouse. I do want to see The Lighthouse. I mean, he's gonna be Batman. You saw my reaction to that. I have a reaction to that. I'm very excited for that. But he did good. Uh, Michael Caine is in it for a split second. Uh, Quicksilver from the MCU is in it. What's his name? Aaron. Aaron something. Aaron Taylor Johnson, I believe. If I think hard, if I think long enough, I can figure it out. I did not know he was in this movie, so that was a cool. That was cool for me. He did a great job, and yeah, the action, good. The plot, so good. I can't even tell you nothing about it. The cast, good. So overall. I don't know what to rate it because I know it's a great movie but I can't I don't know how much I enjoyed it because I didn't understand it but yet I have this this deep down I have so much respect for the movie because I know how good it was I just know that I wasn't able to understand it so it's kind of hard for me to rate it out of 10 I give it probably like a 7 I'd say it's a great great theater experience too I mean I would recommend it see it in a the theater. 
so we could talk about some spoilers right quick but I don't really know what I'll say because it's not like I really understood the car scene uh, the first thing I noticed was that the mirror had the shot on it so I was like man so they're about to get shot but once he goes back around through the time thing that I don't understand uh, he gets in that car and I was like that car kind of looks like that other car and then it was it was him he was like between himself and the other car and I was like what? Man, this is some trippy crap here. And then they go back to the airport scene. And as soon as uh, him and Pattinson suit up, I'm like, man, that was themselves. So they were fighting themselves. And then you get to watch that, that whole fight scene from their angle. And that was, that was awesome. Like, so, it's just done so well. Dude, the thing that did it for me, I was just like, dude, this is crazy. Crazy was when at the end um, Kat kills her husband and then the past her is still on the boat but they go on the other boat and when she looks back she sees like our cat jump off the ship and earlier in the movie our cat said that when she was leaving the ship she saw a lady jump so she saw herself, but but that was literally her because I don't, <laughs> my brain hurts, you know? Because she remembers seeing that, but she's the one that jumps because she killed her husband. So it's just like, what? But by killing her husband, she cancels off the whole rest of the movie, right? Is that what I understood? So I do not understand this movie. That is my... <laughs> Spoiler talk. My spoilers is that I don't understand nothing. So, that's pretty much it. So, without giving too much away for the people who have not seen it, if you understand some stuff that I didn't, drop it in the comments. I would love to examine it, see if you explaining it helps me understand. But I don't want the comment section to be like a spoiler place because uh, we just don't roll like that around here. You understand that? So, that's my review. 7 out of 10 stars. And I don't usually do 10 stars, so I don't know why I did that. Yeah. So, uh, you can check out my trailer reactions to Tenet. If you want to see me literally be confused, you can like, you can subscribe, like I say, comment. And you can check out some other movie reviews if you'd like. And I'll see you on the next time.